So there I was on uh, 24 7 Flat Earth Discord Live channel, happily chatting away. And this dipstick comes in and starts to goad me. Kept typing, repeating the Terminator line, the Terminator line, the Terminator line. I thought, what the fuck are you on about, man? You're on about the T-8000 series, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> so I thought, what a dipstick. He thinks the Terminator line only works on the globe. No, it's the opposite, actually. It only works on flat Earth. So I went on the whole wide world, oh sorry, world wide web and started to do some research and I couldn't believe my eyes. You're not going to believe this. Those heliocentric gatekeepers, timeanddate.com, they have the truth in plain sight. On the day and night map, they show exactly how day and night works on a flat earth. Look at the, the size of the sun and its position. Why would they put a, a small sun on top of the earth? Well, the globalists will argue that it's for illustrative purposes and that's a valid point, but what they're showing here is reality. Also, look at the moon on the, on the night side of the earth. Now, the moon is slower, much slower in its orbit than the, than the sun. So sometimes you will see both the sun and the moon in the daytime because they are, they're differing orbits. Sometimes the moon catches up with the sun or vice versa. So it can only happen on a flat earth. Globalist dickheads still believe that a small and local sun will light up the whole of the earth. No, it doesn't. As depicted here, the sun only lights up parts of the earth because it's not powerful enough to light up the whole of the earth. This is how night and day works in reality. And look at the grey shaded areas. That's the differing, differing shades of the, uh, of the twilight. Obviously, as it goes away from you, it gets darker then into night, full darkness. This is how day and night works on the flat earth. Truth in plain sight. The earth is flat and stationary. Thank you very much.